Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Prison Architect Alpha 36 episode 4. In the previous episode we got this cell block functional, not completed but functional. We got 15 cells, we got a shower on one side, we're going to need to put in a shower on this side and finish this kidney area off, um, or the lung area as people are calling it in the, um, for some reason they said oh it looks like a lungs. Uh, yeah, whatever, we'll go with that. So uh, this is like where we have sort of protective custody area, but we, we, we might need to finish that off before we get extra uh, new prisoners because we get, uh, well, not new prisoners because we haven't got any. I guess they are new. Well, we need to get some prisoners and we'll be getting that this episode, but we need to get this area up and running because normally when you get prisoners, one of them generally out of 10, it, yeah, it seems to be about a 1 in 10 or 1 in 20 ratio of when you get prisoners, uh, you'll get one that needs to be in protective custody because they're like a legendary prisoner or they are most likely a snitch or a ex-cop or something like that, ex-law enforcement. So we need to get that up and running. We also need to make a couple of changes. So what I'm going to do before we get onto the main construction part of this is just to unpause it, go to planning and then just go to walls. We need to plan this off here so that's five and then we need to brick that area off there which means we need to just go to this door and then we will dismantle that and then obviously we need to then brick up this area here but we will put in another door there. The reason I'm doing that is we have a little bit of a problem that people, well one person has mentioned in the comments. I haven't noticed this before so I don't know whether anyone mentioned this in the planning or anything like that but as far as I can tell this is the first time someone's ever said this but this is where we've got our death row. Death row does need a parole area where you can do death row appeals. You don't need to do appeals but it's one of those things that it's always best to do. And I haven't got an area for that. As you can see, this is the death row area. This is where we've got all the uh, sort of electric chair and things like that. This is our, uh, this is our uh, storage area for prisoners, otherwise known as the uh, holding cell. But we can't really have it there because we need to put death row peels there. So I'm going to shift it. I'm going to dismantle all this stuff and then shift it over to this side. So this will actually be our sort of protective custody, not protective custody, our holding cell. And then this will still be our Alcoholics Anonymous area. That's uh, that's the overall plan anyway. So let's just crack on with that one. We've got a brick wall and then we'll brick that bit up there like that. And then obviously we'll wait for this to be removed. And we should have really done it the other way around. We'll speed up to max speed while I crack on with that. And we'll put it there. Then we'll pause it for a second while we just go to our door. And then we'll make sure we'll put a door on that side so they can get in there. We'll put a door on that side so they can get in there. This is still Alcoholics Anonymous as I mentioned. We'll go Go to rooms and then we will just get rid of all of that because obviously that's no longer a common room. This is no longer a holding cell and I'm pretty sure I ordered that door. Yes, I did. So they're going to crack on with that. So this will be a parole area. In fact, we might as well put that in now. We can go to parole if I can actually find the thing. Mill room parole. There it is. So we'll put parole in. As you can see, that's fine. This will also be parole as well. Parole is very simple to actually put a piece of furniture in for and it will be that now that's right you can have you can have it's weird you can rotate this only three ways you can have it so it's the single seat on the right single seat on the bottom or single uh, seat on the left but you can't have it so it's a, a, on the top which is a bit weird anyway there's that there we just need to go to our utilities and then we'll run an electrical cable inside there just to actually power that thing up. By the way, if I sound a little bit different, that's because I'm getting a hideous cold. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm hoping I can get through uh, this episode. I might even have to bulk record because otherwise I might uh, start dying over the next couple of days with the man flu. <clears throat> anyway, so we have got that put in. What do we need? Well, we'd like to get some prisoners, but... Is that a good idea at this particular point? Probably not. We've got visitation. We've got canteen. Let's go. Let's work on the assumption that we're going to get some prisoners in the ne uh, in the next uh, cycle. So basically, we've got this day to finish stuff off. We will need to finish off things like the cookers. So there's the cookers put in that side. We need to put a fridge in, which will be like double fridge, double fridge, double fridge. That should do there quite nicely. Go down over here. We can see that we're easily... Uh, our power is quite good. That's fine. We just need to go into the... Good grief, that's a big clunk they're making when they're doing all that. We just need to go into here, and this is our canteen. Obviously, we just need to finish off putting benches in and things like that, and that should do us quite nicely. This will be the canteen for... The few prisoners that we get. We'll only go for maybe 15 or 20 prisoners. This is still going to be 
our holding cell because we do need one or we want one we don't need one actually you don't need a holding cell but it's always useful let's just go to utilities and just for sake of completeness we're going to dismantle utilities we're going to dismantle that water pipe there all the way down to the bottom because I don't think it's strictly necessary same as this running all the way to the back there that is probably not necessary but we're going to keep it in anywhere because we can I guess let's run that down to the bottom and then we'll run this one up to the top obviously that's going to be our shower and then we might as well put that in as well so we'll just go to the little soapy bubbly symbol and then we'll finish off this area here now does that still have a door on that side it does still have a door on that side what I'm going to do we do not need a door on the shower because I don't think doors stop water anyway I think yeah I'm pretty sure that the doors don't stop the water so there's no real point that's not the right thing that's um <laughs> See, what that was, was uh, a fire ready to uh, happen, lots of electrocution. That was the metal detector, but that has reminded me that I do actually need some metal detectors. So let's get on with that. What I'm going to do is just finish off the shower. These are only 20, these shower heads, and we've got 27 grand remaining, so more than enough to crack on with that. So that is that pretty much done. We are near the night, so let me just quickly go to utilities here. I'm going to go to a large pipe. I need to run a large pipe up the top there, and then I need to run it. Actually, no, I don't need to do that. I don't, because I, I don't have another cell block up there. So to get these done, I probably just need to run a small pipe like that. That should hopefully, hopefully, hopefully be just right in terms of distance. So we should be okay there. Let us get some solitary confinement up and running. In fact, what we'll do, we'll place most of these rooms here. And this will be, as, as I said, solitary. So hopefully we can get this done before prisoners turn up. I'm not too bothered whether or not we get this done, really. I'm going to have to think really what else is what else is needed before we crack on with anything else so we've got a common room we do need to expand that so let's just go to rooms and then we'll go to a uh, common room there we are and we will extend it so it's like that for example so it is actually a one big common room and then in here we can have several chairs so let's just go to we can't see the chairs chair and honestly we could just run it like that if we really wanted to there we go that should do us quite nicely yeah that's about right excellent okay so that's cool um the the latest part the latest update has brought out things like uh random events that's the main thing that's been added i never never tried them on purpose because i want to experience them uh like sort of fresh if, if you if you know what i mean so i i haven't actually went through and tried the game out at all since the patch so i want to yeah, everything that i'll be experiencing in these videos will be completely um as is the first time i've ever seen them so that's going to make it um interesting so <laughs> if things could go right things could go horribly horribly wrong we'll just see what happens won't we uh what do i need now well i think it would be best if i well i do need prisoners i could get some prisoners i've got enough guards really i've got long-term investment on the go i could get myself 15 prisoners so let's go to intake and we'll say open for all things here and then we'll say we want a total of 10 prisoners so we are going for a full mix of prisoners that's what we want to go for obviously it will lean towards generally the high risk because they don't leave as much but if we keep an eye on it we could probably balance it out let's just go to some doors here i just want to put a staff door in the front and then obviously that little bit there we can put something else as well i need to put in some metal detectors and i think the best place to put metal detectors is always coming into the canteen on and sort of coming into the cell block but because i am not overly flush i'm not sort of too rich i think i'm just going to go for the cells for now or the cell blocks i do i want to put some there not really i would like to put some on the intake side here i guess that would be a good idea although we could put some there as well but that should do it so that's the only way in the prison and then that's well that yeah that should be that's the officially only way in the prison so that should do it quite nicely obviously we need to go to our utilities here and then we will need to wire these things up so we will actually connect them Fire our wiring system and then probably run we haven't done this side so we'll leave that there okay obviously we need to do automatic door openers and things like that but we'll get onto that later on so we're going to receive prisoners very shortly i've just paused it for a second while i got a staff and then to our cooks and we're going to hire one two three 
four cooks that takes it up to six in total it's actually too many but it doesn't really matter that much so what we want to do is set up our regime and our policy so let's go for regime uh, policy first if you have anything on you, you get searched and you get uh, your, your cell and yourself get searched and we'll go for a lockdown if you have any drugs or luxuries or anything like that on you. Luxuries actually we're not going to bother, we're just going to take off you. If you do a bit of destruction or any escape attempts or any attacking of prisoners, you get a bit of the old solitary and I think we're going to say six hours for the first, first four. A serious injury will go for four. Intoxication will go for a four as well. That should be uh, quite nice. We'll go for a parole cutoff of, say, 15%. I think that's about the ideal amount. Regime, we'll sort the regime out. So we want to have it so you have a bit of sleep time from 11. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And 5 a.m. wake up for a nice little shower there. Then we'll have two hours of free time followed by two hours of eat. I could do one eat right in the middle and a lot of people say I should really do that some more. So let's crack on with that one. Let's have two hours of free time and then one, two, three, four, four hours of work and then we'll have one, two hours of, does that work? I think I want, actually, I want it so we have lock up like that. One, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so we'll have two hours of eat right in the middle. We'll have lock up just after that bit of work either side of it and that's actually shower. Yeah, that would, that would not work at all. Probably have three hours of eat. Do we want three hours of eat? It might be a little bit too long. Let's extend it to that and we'll see what happens. So that's about right. So we've got a bit of sleep. We've got shower time and then obviously a bit of free time as well. Then we've got four hours of work followed by about our free time before you eat. And then you get a couple of hours lock up after the couple of hours of eat. And then four hours back of work. And then you've got a bit of free time before you have to go to bed again. Not too bad at all. So programs, will deal with that later. And knees obviously not there. Intake set up. Regime is set up. Policy. Meal variety will go for high variety and will go for high quantity as well. And that means that only one meal time is required. So we might alter that. We might reduce it down if we need to. And we'll see what happens there. This, by the way, is where we've got our storage area. We're going to split that up and move some of our exports over there or move all of the exports over there. And that should hopefully fix that as well. We do need just to go to deployment here before stuff turns up. And obviously we need to just set up all of this here so nothing turns up in there. No people in there. Uh, that is actually no we do need that shared this is our infirmary we'll have that shared obviously the morgue we don't parole in here is only going to be actually all of this is slightly this is slightly different what I'm going to do I'm going to say I'm going to say that is staff only that parole room just because I don't want it to be used because then I'll have to reschedule things later on so it'll be a bit, a bit of a nightmare for me and that area around the outside as you can see goes all the way around that is staff only and I think that's about right reception I think we'll put as staff only as well just for now because eventually we'll have it as open area so they can come in here and dump everything at the export but we'll have to change that around. So okay there we go there's enough I think that we can get going. Let's just go over to the top left and go back to our brick walls. Yes we've actually already got them. I do want to go to uh, just close that tab a second go to our bureaucracy and check that we haven't got dogs, which we haven't. We'll go for dogs. We also go for the remote access as well, and then we'll go for small cells. We do require an lawyer, so we will hire one unit of lawyer in a second, and there we go. There's the money that we needed. So there we go. They're bringing them in, and we'll go for one unit of lawyer. Aha, all sorted, and we will start this off. So I'm going to get 700 or minus 750 per day. So we've got Harris, uh, Diamond, Plough, uh, gardener, no, that's that. That's the gardener there. Um, hang on, where is it? I can't see the names now. That's a facing game though. But we got some prisoners. That's pretty cool. We have not yet got intelligence, which is a nightmare. We really need to get intelligence, and should have got that before now. That's a that's problematic. That's not good at all. Let me force that door open for them. What grants can we get? We've currently got uh, three grants going here, but it's easy. I guess, is it easy to get the other grant? No, it is not, because to get the other grants, we need to assign prisoners to three areas, that area and this area here, which is not yet being built. We might be able to go to building brick and just get that insufficient funds. We can't do that at all. So we basically have to wait for this short-term investment or get some more prisoners. I've only brought in 10 this time because I thought that was um, best to just get 10 in and see how this goes and see if there's any problems. 
but for the time being, oh, that's obviously out of power as well, so that's not even detecting anything. Let me just connect that up. I'm making a total balls of this, but uh, maybe it's because of lack of LEMSIP. Who knows? Ah, today's beverage is water. Trying to hydrate more. If I am getting a hideous man cold, I uh, want to try and blast through it as fast as possible. Right, so... This is going okay. Uh, danger level is decreasing. It was going up because they were getting search, which is just you not know, something that happens. What we'll do, we will actually go to our intake and set that up. So we want another five prisoners just to get that on the top end there. So we've got one prisoner in lockdown because they had booze on them, obviously. Uh, waiting for funds is uh, another two in-game days. So that's going to be quite ways so the best thing to do I guess is go to our reports and then to our grants and then we'll increase our bank loan up to eight grand because that's enough for me to really just get the building I need put in this is going to be uh, a couple of different buildings actually it's going to be if I just go to objects and then to door we want two doors put in this place one there and one actually one there because it doesn't really matter where they go that's going to be laundry and uh, cleaning cupboard which would be cool. So, looks like we're feeding all prisoners. We could actually reduce the quantity and variety for the meals to a little bit lower, if I'm completely honest with you. Let's try and do that. Variety to medium. That should cheapen that out a bit. That's okay. So, as you can see at the top there, we're actually losing a lot of money. That's, that's only because of the loan that I've taken out. But I'm not really too bothered because, as I said, as soon as I get this put in here, we'll be able to get a, the prisoner acclimatization and engagement grant done. And that'll be cool. Let's just go to deployment. Actually, it's not in deployment. It's in logistics, isn't it? Yeah, we'll get three prisoners assigned to that there. You can actually assign max 12 to them, which is interesting. Right, so, just waiting for the... There they go. Ah, the finishing shower heads now. There you go. Yeah, there's a lot of work that I've actually ordered on this one, so it does take quite a while. Obviously, I'm waiting for intelligence to be finished, but that's not going to be for a full day. We do have dogs, though, so we can get a dog area up the top here. Might as well do that. We'll go to rooms, then we'll go to kennel. Kennel is very simple. You put one unit of kennel, and then you actually put dog crates in, which are 100 each, which is fine, I guess. I'll put five in. I think that's more than enough. For now, anyway, for now. And then I'm going to have a patrol all the way around here with dogs, obviously, because you want them like that. And then we'll have a couple indoors and outside and just all over the place, really. We'll put some dogs because dogs smell stuff and they uh, they do quite well. So, uh, we haven't really got any line of sight in the common room or anywhere else that we really need it, if I'm completely honest. We need it in the parole holding cell would be nice around here as well. And I obviously have missed that bit there, which is interesting. We might as well do that. And while I'm over here, we'll get to solitary as well. So we'll solitary all of that bit down the bottom. And there we go. There's all of our solitary. We're not going to do the other bits. And we do need to put some doors on this. Solitary doors would be nice. They are expensive though. I normally put solitary doors on this, but I don't think you need solitary doors. Just we need to be doors in general. So we could just go for... It's interesting because solitary door is the heaviest and strongest type of door, right? But when people are in solitary, they very rarely go violent. I'm still going to put solitary doors in because they're called solitary doors. So it just makes sense to me. Right. This is going to build any second now. Once you put the final corner in and... Blah, 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 it's going to go like that. Yeah, there we go, fine. Actually, I just realised that we probably do need to run some water cable up the top there, uh, water pipe rather, because it is a bit of a problem because we do need to power a couple of things. Hang on, let's run this along like that. And then up into, hang on, up into there. This might look a bit dodgy what I'm doing, but there is method to my madness. Right, so there's that put in. Oh, there's some cables and pipes put in, then I'm going to put some walls over it, and the reason I'm doing all of that is because this area is going to be our cleaning cupboard, this is going to be laundry, so let's just crack on with that, I don't really have enough money <laughs> for most of this stuff, so that's going to be there, that's our laundry, then we need to go for a cleaning cupboard, if I can find the thing, why can't I find it, there it is, there we go, alright, and then we'll just go to logistics, There we go. So there's that grant done. And then I'm going to spend... Ooh, should I do that? I've got... I think I'll decrease my bank loan. I'm going to get rid of the loan. I'm going to pay it right off. Because otherwise, I'm just going to lose my money. And it's just not worth it. Just not worth it. So, 
there's that sorted. We can get another grant, however, which is always useful. We could go for government uh, governmental security ratings. We'll go for that one because, honestly, we are getting close to get, getting that done anyway. So we might as well uh, get that sorted. Looks like we've got intelligence now, so we'll have a quick look at our informants. And extremely tough and a gang member. Oh, okay. Didn't see him come in. They're also shouting around here, which is interesting. Can you hear it? Yeah, it's already kicking off. Wow. Why? Is he trying to blitz out? That guy's trying to blitz out. <laughs> Why did he do that? Let's have a quick look. Paul Hare, prisoner number 51412. Volatile. That's why he tried to blitz out. Yeah, he's volatile. Well, that's a bit of a stupid thing to do because now he's unconscious lying there. Idiot. Right, cool. So, there's that sorted. We will now... What do we need to do? Well, the kennel needs to be surrounded, so we'll put uh, some sort of door system on there. Could do staff door. Doesn't really matter what I use, if I'm honest with you, because nobody ever gets over to the kennels there. And if someone wants to try and break in, then good luck to them, because it's going to be guarded by dogs. So, uh, yeah, enjoy that. Right, so we need to have two dog handlers. Uh, you need to place it where you've got line of sight, so we'll go for one, two in the infirmary there. <laughs> I don't know why. Just because we can. Go to deployment, dog patrols, and then let's set a dog patrol up. Oh! All the way along the outside and then down the bottom and then to the right as well job done and then obviously we need to then assign the dog there that's all sorted right so what I'll also do is double thickness actually is this let me just check planning a second yeah that's fine what I'm gonna do is go to a double thickness on this patrol and the reason for that is if I actually assign a dog patrol there, it means that they can walk past each other, which is cool. So, uh, assign two arm guards to patrol routes for the next part of that grant. Obviously, arm guards will be going here, so that's going to be problematic. Actually, I've just realised that this, this, should probably be a bigger door. Nah, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't really matter. Right, okay, so, um, there's been a couple of comments uh, about the problem with forestry, and they've said that, at the moment, the, the 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 way the the way the layout is, everything is fairly everything is fairly enclosed, and you're not going to get stuff thrown over the wall. Apart from this area here, right? Like this is where we've got forestry, and if you count ten from here, one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Is that? Yeah, five to there means that if I blocked it off there, if I didn't have this bit as forestry, if this was something else, then we wouldn't have any problems with stuff getting flung over the wall. You're right. So I might be changing that later on. We'll still have forestry, but we're just going to shrink it down a bit. Forestry has taken the... Oh, we found a drill inside a bucket of uh, cleaning fluid, which is interesting. Yeah. We, uh, we, you know, the, the forestry of all of the rooms has taken the biggest hit to its size, which is, you know, just unfortunate. Let me just get the laundry put in. We'll put in f four laundry machines. I don't think anything else, any, any, any more is required, really. And then we'll put some iron boards in, and I don't really know where you need to place them. There's weird placement for the ironing boards where... Sometimes, God, there's loads of stuff getting smuggled in there. I think that might be okay, but we'll have to see. And then, obviously, we just need the baskets, which you just put six there. We'll put oh, nine, I guess. We'll put like that. And that should do it quite nicely. And I guess we've just got some more prisoners. We have got some more prisoners. So let's have a quick look from our intelligence. Uh, got a fearless person there, and that person with something or other. So, gangs, we do have one red gang member, which is interesting. Not a leader, just a member. Just one member. Uh, which means the common room is now, um, you know, can be taken over. Yard currently can't because it's not enclosed, so we might enclose it just for sake of fun. That's saying it's not got laundry baskets, but it definitely does. Oh, well, it's planned there. You can see them. They're coming along now. So, what else do we need to do? Well, I think we will expand our visitation because it is worth doing. There we go. I'm not going to expand it too much. I think common room is the same. We probably need to expand that a little bit because it is a bit shall we say, um, basic, isn't it, really, at the moment. So we'll put that on there. We'll put in some more televisions up the top. That should do us quite nicely. And that's sorted. So let's have a quick look at our grants here. Uh, our, rather, yeah, our, our, our unlocks, our bureaucracy. We haven't got remote access yet. We have not yet got tasers or body armor for our guards. I think tasers are always a good one. So I'm going to get a bit of a, I'm going to get a taser unlock. I haven't got any legal prep or death row yet. I do want to get permanent punishments and death row and all of this stuff here but 
it's going to be problematic. It's going to cost a lot of money. So I think I'm just going to leave that for now. Let's concentrate on getting this area expanded. But I think we will leave it there because we've done enough for now. So 15 prisoners turned up. Looks like everything's running well-ish. Enough so that we can uh, continue on and we're not going to have to do any massive changes. But that, as always, comments in the comments and we will go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings. My throat's getting really bad. Oh, eh.